Hello, uh, myself, uh, Dr. Kosser Fatima. I'm assistant professor, plant pathology, uh, School of Agricultural Sciences and Technology, RIMT University. Today, I'm going to speak on topic button mushroom cultivation in India. Introduction. Mushroom belongs to a separate group of organism called fungi. They lack the growth matter, green matter called chlorophyll present in the plants and grow on dead and decaying organic matter. From these decaying substrate, they absorb their nutrient with the help of very fine thread-like structure called mycelium, which penetrate into the substratum and are generally not visible on the surface. Mycelium grow profusely and absorb sufficient food material. It forms the reproductive structure which generally comes out of the substrate and form fruiting body commonly known as mushroom. The mushroom fruiting body may be umbrella like or of various other shapes, size and color. Commonly it consists of a cap and a stalk but others may have additional structures like a wheel, annulus, a cup or a vulva performing various function in the life cycle of a fungus. Now the history of a mushroom. Mushroom have been devoured as a food by mankind since time immemorial after collecting from the forest. However, mushroom could not be dom domesticated due to their complex nature. Through Chi though Chinese were the first to do the artificial cultivation of tropical and subtropical mushroom about thousands thousand years ago. Real commer commercial venture st started when the Europeans started cultivation of button mushroom in greenhouses caves during 16th and 18th century, 17th century. The success to the to the isolate pure culture through tissue culture and spore was the first, were the first turning point in the process of commercial mushroom production in the world. Mushroom are now getting significant importance due to their nutritive and medicinal value and income generating venture. Mushroom being an indoor crops does not require arable land except for some non-agricultural land to build the infrastructure for preparation of substrate, rising of crop, preparation of spawn and post-harvest handling. White button mushroom in India is grown seasonally and in environment controlled cropping houses and both require building of basic infrastructure. Seasonal growing is done for five to six months when outside temperature are favorable for the crop. Now the mushroom production in India. India is uh, usually um, producing mushroom like button mushroom, oyster mushroom, pedestal mushroom, milky mushroom and some other mushrooms. The production is maximum in case of button mushroom with a yield of 94,900 tons followed by oyster mushroom with 20,000 tons. Mushroom producing states of India. The pie chart shows the mushroom producing states of India and their percentage, the sharing person that is contributed by each state. It, uh, the pie chart shows that the Punjab is at the top uh, in uh, mushroom production with a 14 percent and that is followed by Haryana and Orissa with 12 percent of mushroom production area and then followed by Gujarat. Now uh, we will discuss about the button mushroom that we consume every day. This is uh, also known as agaricus bisporus. The button mushroom 
also called white button mushroom, is tiny, small, thumbnail size, smooth round cap. Systemic position of the mushroom. Mushroom is belong to kingdom fungi and the phylum is Basidiomycota, order Agaricales, family Agaricaceae, genus Agaricus and species Agaricus bisporus. Common nutritional value of mushroom. Mushroom contain a maximum of 90% water, then dry ash of 10%, protein content of mushroom is 2.5-3%, carbohydrate 5-6%, to 6%, fat 0 0.4 to 0.6%, fiber and ash 1% each. Now the, uh, for the cultivation of mushroom, we need to establish a unit so that we can grow that mushroom. Mushroom is not like that it can grow on a soil. We have to, we need a proper substrate on which the mushroom can grow and to grow mushroom throughout the year, we have also, we also need the uh, different, uh, different uh, units where we can uh, prepare the compost that is the basic requirement for the cultivation of mushroom. The components of mushroom farm include composting unit where the compo composting took place, outdoor phase, indoor phase, here the composting take place in an artificial machine where the where the composting took place, then the bulk pasteurization chamber, cooling of compost in summer month, a special requirement because the mushroom is usually grow in winter. So we have to, when we go for a, when we go for growing mushroom in summer, we have a cooling chamber also where we have to cool the compost. And then the casing pasteurization chamber, then the spawn unit, spawn laboratory, cropping unit, seasonal cropping rooms, environmental control cropping rooms, environmental control air conditioning and force air circulation, post harvest handling unit, pre-cooling chamber, canning hall with canning line, packing room, sector. Now the mushroom grow on a specific substrate. Like other vegetable crops, they grow on soil for example, if you grow for a vegetable or a fruit crop or a cereal that grow on soil, they take the nutrient from the soil. But in case of compost, uh, in case of mushroom, we need a compost that provide the nutrient to the mushroom and that compost consisted of various components like first wheat bran that is of 300 kg, wheat wheat straw 300 kg, wheat bran 15 kg, calcium ammonium nitrate that is cane 9 kg, urea 3 kg, superphosphate 3 kg, murad of potash MOP 3 kg and gypsum of 20 kg. As we know that uh, the composting is the basic fundamental for the production of mushroom and these uh, uh, the composting took place in uh, two ways, that is long method and a short method. First, we discussed about the long method. The long method is usually done by the farmers in their field and this practice is uh, during the cropping season. They does not, they doesn't require a special structure where they have to compose the uh, components. Here, it, uh, we can do this all this in an open field, just the favorable environment. First and first step, uh, step involved is the wetting of the straw. The straw that we require, uh, the straw is from wheat straw or rice straw. And then the wetting of the other ingredients like bran, uh, MOP, urea, uh, calcium ammonium nitrate, this can are also wet during the composting. This all are first uh, wetting uh, is done, then after that the mixing procedure took place. Mixing of straw and other ingredients take place. During the mixing, the mixing, uh, the mixing must have the moisture content of 72 to 75 percent. 
these uh, mixture the different component mixture are then piled up and form a state with the passage of time they go for a turning there are total of eight turnings with each turning we have to turn the piles and then again stack and form the piles. At the third turning, we have to add the gypsum. All the after that, we just again pile and go for turning for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh time, and then we have to check the ammonium present in the uh, compost. If the ammonium is not uh, ammonium is not uh, present in the compost then we have to uh, add the spawn before spawning we all we can also go for uh, fungicide pesticide treatment uh, in which we add formaldehyde bevestine uh, so that the insect pest occurrence does not took place after the treatment with the formaldehyde and bevestin then we again we have to uh, put a polythene sheet on the piles and keep this for 48 hours after that we we will remove that polythene sheet and we will go for the spawning of the spawning uh, for the compost so that the mushroom production took place in a shortcut method we have again we use the same components like chopped wheat straw, then chicken manure, wheat bran, urea, gypsum. Uh, in a short method, wetting of the straw, then low stack of weighted straw, mixing of ingredients, making of piles. Again, same thing happens as in the long process, then composting of, compost of piles. After compost of piles, then the pasteurization of the compost took place in the pasteurization chamber. नहीं सर इसमें वो चला ही गया फिर उसका पीपीटी निकल स्केप तो नहीं किया सर कितना आपका हो गया था वैसे क्योंकि ये लास्ट स्लाइड पे था सर अब कितना आया हूँ लास्ट पे नहीं सर इससे पहले ये ये खुद बार खुद जल्दी जल्दी चलने लगा सर पता नहीं क्यों नहीं ये किया सर मैंने तो चलो कोई बात नहीं तहाँ पे था यहाँ से यहाँ से शुरू करोगे हाँ जी सर कर लो क्या बस अब थोड़ा सा ही है सर नाउ द स्पॉनिंग for spawn, for spawn run, air temperature of 23 degrees Celsius is maintained in the room with a corresponding bed temperature of 24 to 25 degrees Celsius higher than the air temperature. The fresh air valve is closed and enter air is recirculated allowing the carbon dioxide to accumulate to the level of 15,000 ppm. Higher concentration of CO2 accelerate the spawn run vegetative growth of the mushroom fungus. During spawn run, above temperature has to be maintained till the compost is impregnated with the mushroom mycelium. Increase or decrease in the temperature affect the CO2 production of the compost and relative humidity of the room. With increase in temperature, relative humidity will tends to fall and with decrease in temperature, relative humidity will increase. Casing. After the spawning, we have to go for the casing. The casing, the environmental condition suitable for spawn run is, are also suitable for in case run. The same condition will be provided for 7 days for case run as for spawn run. That is the temperature of 23 degrees Celsius in the air and 24 degrees Celsius in the bed. The relative humidity oblique this carbon dioxide will be same as required for the spawn run. 
within one week the case run will be completed the moment the mycelium is observed on the top of the casing. The CO2 concentration and relative humidity should be within the optimum range for effective and quick case run. Crop management. After completion of case run, the cooling of the room is enhanced to bring the air temperature down to 15 to 17 degrees Celsius in the room within 2 to 3 days. Fresh air vent is opened to 30 percent and rest of the air is recirculated. This brings down the CO2 concentration in the room to 300 to 1000 ppm. Desired for pin heat formation and relative humidity humidity is also reduced to 85 percent from 95 percent. Pin head formation took within a week. The pin had grown into full button sized mushroom in another three to four days. The environmental parameters are maintained as above during entire crop period of cropping. All the three parameters work in synergy with each other to induce uh, Pinning, pinning in on casing surface. Now the harvesting. Once the mushroom is formed, then we have to go for the harvesting. Mushroom are harvested by gently holding a mushroom body and twisting it. Washing become necessary to remove the soil particles if non-pit casing soil is used. But washing, wash mushroom generally deteriorate rapidly then mushroom packed dry due to the increased water content that results in great growth rate of spoilage by the bacteria. After harvesting, we have to go for the processing of these mushroom. Sun drying of mushroom is one of the simplest and the oldest method. Due to the difficulties in drying of some of the mushroom, new preservation technology like cabinet drying, canning, pickling, freeze drying and irradiation treatment of mushroom have developed to improve the shelf life and composition of mushroom, consumption of mushroom. A variety of products are being prepared from mushroom like mushroom pickle, mushroom powder, mushroom sauce, mushroom candy, etc. Farmer can prepare these products when there is surplus. And with this I am winding up. Thank you. Thank you so much for your attention.